we are at a top secret location, which is not so top secret because I'm about to go past the sign. Aston Martin F1 HQ, and it is early in the morning for me. First step today, we're getting a tour of the place, and then we're actually gonna work on an F1 car. Hopefully I don't leave any bolts loose <laughs> like the RS6. And my dad's here as well to double check bolts. Now we're about to go inside to see the actual 2024 F1 car. Not many people get to see this. They gave me these because we're gonna do the first start up. I wish we could show you, but we can't because it's all top secret, but you are gonna get to see the car at the end of the video. What do you think? Awesome, isn't it? Nice to be uh, first to see it, isn't it? Describe what it looks like for the viewers. Uh, an unfinished car. <laughs> so everyone behind me now is, it's a big build up for the start. All the staff are coming. Obviously it's a huge moment for them. They've just built the whole car. Right, we're banking again. No spark though, no spark. Solid effort there, solid effort there. That was a good, that was a, a monumental moment. The start of the 2024 season, the first start up of the AMR 24, come on. We were there for it, we were there. So this is last year's front wing, front splitter. Massive piece here, but of course we're here because of Valvoline, Team Valvoline, and that's why we're here. That's why we get to do all this crazy stuff. And you would have seen as well, we're coming the Aston Martin, so. I'll come in the Aston Martin Vantage. And now we're Team Valvoline as well. It's a match made in heaven. Okay, big moment. The reason why they called me up to come here, I've had to work on one of the cars. <laughs> so we've got the nose tip off. Okay. Um, so if you wouldn't mind fitting it. Okay. If that's something you want to do. I'll yep. the tools on the big side of And a beautiful tool tray. So you've got... Oh, that for like one time. <laughs> that's your nose tip. Yeah. Um, that is insanely light as well. I don't want to round a screw or snap a screw. Let's give it a go. We're witnessing history right now. Matt Armstrong on the Aston Martin race team. <laughs> I'm not going to go tight until well, all of them in. Too tight. Yeah. I'd leave them too loose, but don't go snapping it either. <laughs> don't put pressure on there. Every little bit gets torqued. Um, on the car. I'm guessing if one of these come off, then it, it could cause some damage going. Doing all right here. Pretty chill. I feel like it's a bit of an overkill on on bolts for this, but I guess the cars do, do go quite fast. I mean, normally as well, you'd also have tape all around here. So this oh, all gets that's taped. what they so, have the tape for. Yeah, so you obviously bolt it all and it'll get taped from all the way up here, all the way in the front. If I'm not snapping these, I'm not gonna snap them. Do. Normally the, um, the actual bit that you're using in the end of that goes first. So that's actually designed so that that will break before. Really? Yeah. I'm guessing you've snapped a few then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's and and it's he admits it because yeah. the real mechanics do admit it. I've fitted, what's this bit called? Uh, and that is a nose tip. The nose tip to an Aston Martin front splitter cone? cone? Front nose cone. Front, front nose cone. Front, front wing assembly. So when I see this going around the track next, with this, I can be like, oh, I fitted one of them. That was all right. I feel like we're working our way up now. What's next? Engine? <laughs> <laughs> now, we've got an F1 wheel here. John Olsen's fitted F1 wheels to his RS6. Will you start to yours? Yeah, I'm about to take it. Oh my days. It is so light. These are the 18s. 18s. There used to be tiny, didn't they? I think they were 13s back before they increased in size, yeah. Jeez. They always have this big like, aero disc on the front as opposed to like an open wheel, which I have noticed it is. It is actually like an alloy wheel yes. there, but it, why, is the, why is this on there? I believe it's just so you've got your room heat and it keeps your heat in and everything else, and also aerodynamics again. Right. 
makes sense. This this is just like a, a wheelie bin, yeah. this bit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just like a wheelie bin, you didn't expect that. Something else I've learned. I actually learned on YouTube. Do you know these little holes here? I might be wrong. But these little holes here, I'm pretty sure when the car goes on track, after they come back and they can measure the degradation in the tyre and it's through these uh, holes, the depth of it. Is that right? Them ones there. Them ones. I told you it was them ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can measure the degradation in the tyre through the depthness of those holes. They go out, do a full couple of laps or so, and then... Uh, scrape all the tyre down, then measure the uh, depth of that hole to find out the degradation, exactly what's going on with the tyre. So basically, I will have a job here very very soon. Don't know whether it'll be on that type of stuff or the wheels, we'll find out. <laughs> this is being brought in for me. <laughs> this is an actual F1 car. So this is the 2022? 2023. 2023 <laughs> car. With the 2024 livery? 2024 livery, yeah. That's the one. Next task now, changing the wheel on this. We're going to see what if we've got what it takes to be an F1 mechanic, and this is the first step, the first test. Feel like pretty at home already. I feel like quite welcome here. Don't feel that nervous. We're filming at this angle because, again, top secret hidden things, which you'll get to see later in the video. Now, <laughs> it's time to change a wheel. If it goes as well as the nose cone thing, I've got a job. All the nuts undo to the back of the car. So oh, this side, because it's centre lock, it's yeah. it's a righty tighter. So righty this, this is righty loosey. Yeah, but then on the other. Well, side, I would have got that completely wrong then. And then you want to just go straight on the socket, and check that you're all the way home on that white bumper. Yeah. And then the is the wheel just going to come straight off, or is no, it? No, it will still. Axle. The nut will stay. That's it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the huge, like, okay, is it like barrel. A, a barrel? Is that yeah, what you call it? Yeah, we call it a barrel ratings. Right, okay. Yeah, I can see why. Yeah. Part of the brake duct, so it contains a lot of the air that's taken in from the front. Yeah. Directs it round the brakes, the brake system, how we want it. Yeah. And then it exits out the back. So it just basically keeps the cool air inside around Pretty the brakes. Cool. Do you know when they do it on TV, they make it look so easy, like, I feel like I'm going to be faffing around now. Look, straight away. <laughs> I'm home, yeah, I'm not going to round it. We're not going to retire the car. How do you know if it's torqued? It's, it's just it's, five bugger duggers. It's, it's basically five bugger duggers. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, let's say, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Nearly got a job. Let's see how fast you can do it, go on. Well, do it again. 1.8 seconds, you got to beat. Okay. Off. Bear in mind, it's a one-man pit stop. Yeah. Then we're like, oh, give me the wet snow. <laughs> no. so, yeah. They gave me the wets because it's thrown it down. Remember, I'm getting soaked as well. Okay. It's gone. It's gone home. Fernando, wait. Not yet. Oh, they do that, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> and then they're off. Another little secret, which I'm allowed to tell you as well. It uses the Valvoline brake fluid. Not even joking, this is actually used in F1 cars and we're going to be using this in some of our cars as well. Pretty cool. So this is a 2023 car with the 24 livery and now we're about to reveal the brand new 2024 car. Here we go. Somehow, swindled my way into Aston Martin GC3 car. It's absolutely nuts that thing. Massive wing, huge diffuser. This is the brand new Vantage and they've already cut it up and made it into a GT3 car with a new headlights, huge bonnet. I don't even know what they've done to it, but it looks completely different to a road car. Yeah, this is going to sound nuts going around. Wheels are on. This is it. The moment it's going out on track and we're getting to capture it. Okay, here we go. These lads out in it, innit? Lads. Yeah, lads. I can't imagine what it feels like for the driver. Here we go! <laughs> oh my... Wow, it's already sending it! <laughs> that is not... It's not going half hearted, is it? It's just straight out. Flat out. I like it. Sounds good. Looks good. 
arguably I say it looks a lot better than the other cars that should have been released, but we'll see. Let us know in the comment section. <laughs> What's the rule, Matt? So if you lift both your feet off of there, the whole team gets a penalty apparently. Oh, so, if, so you allow one foot. You allow one foot to hang out yeah. when you're celebrating like Alonso wins, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you take your second foot off, whole team penalty. Is that Red Bull's fault? Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Noise, noise. <laughs> it's February and he's sending it. That's like second lap. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Time. Yeah, he's got his foot to the floor now. Yeah, it sounded a load better than last last lap that he did. <laughs> so much better than his last <laughs> <laughs> What position is he in? Uh, must be first. Must be, yeah. <laughs> From TJ Hunt's channel, uh, we've stole Valvoline Dada. <laughs> <laughs> we've got him. That's the whole reason why we're here. So shout out to Valvoline Dada. Made it across the pond just hanging out with these guys. He doesn't know what an F1 car is. It's just NASCAR. Is this your first time you've seen an F1 car? First time seeing an F1 car. <laughs> car. It's, it's strange. <laughs> Everyone drives on the wrong side. They say weird things. <laughs> what did you think, Dad? It's great, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. New jacket. Oh, look at your jacket. <laughs> you the uh, new mechanic? No, I've got to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> I've only borrowed it. <laughs> Absolutely it. Now the car will be brought back in, an auxiliary will be plugged in, they read all the data from the car as well, tyres will get changed and then they just keep going, rinse and repeat. They're on it. Now you can actually fully see the car and what's been done. This is the part we're allowed to see. All the new sponsors, Valvoline, right on the front of the and on the back of the rear wing. Let's go. We're going to ask a few questions of like, what it takes to be a mechanic here. Did you go like college? Yeah, so I did, I did an apprenticeship with a team. Do you have to go college to do it? No, that's the way I went. I went to uni. You went to uni, yeah. You went, you, yeah. You're a uni boy? I did motorsport engineering. Wow, he's posh. <laughs> college and uni. Oh, he's done both. Oh. He's, he's like hybrid, he's like hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> just, just talk to that man. <laughs> a lot of people think that like, the F1 mechanics are like robots and they like never make any mistakes and like you know they're, they're always like completely on it and I know they're probably going to say yeah we never make any mistakes or anything like that yeah but, we never make any mistakes yeah look <laughs> these guys are the same as us you know like we, I'm guessing you start, all started on your driveway and stuff working on cars and tinkering yeah, around yeah, yeah. that's the cool thing about it and I guess most of the people watching can relate to that it's not like these guys are complete robots and Oh, I went uni and filled out a load of papers and now I can turn a screwdriver on a car. These guys d do actually do stuff to their own cars. Well, there we go. We've had the insights of the mechanics. I don't know who's next can we recruit. Let's get a driver next. Yeah, let's get Jess. Let's get Jess. What, wait, what's happening? <laughs> this is perfect. We, honestly, we don't know. We just dragged you out because it wouldn't be Aston Martin without Jess. And a lot of people have been asking for a little collaboration, which is here right now. Any plans to be in an F1 car? in this year? Me? Yeah. I don't think you're allowed to ask that question. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, let, can I ask something else that I'm not allowed to ask? You may as well, go on. Yeah, um, are you allowed to drive any of my cars? Uh, an Aston? Yeah, yeah, I have got an Aston, yeah. You've got, well, you've got one. Yeah, we've got an Aston. Okay, then I can drive that. Okay, so maybe we need to get Jess in the Aston round the track. The are track. you racing this year? None taken. I am racing this year. I can't tell you what just yet. Wow. So secretive. Right. It's so, <laughs> so media trained. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But maybe we'll grab Jess for a future video. Probably going to have to be driving the Aston or potentially one of my other cars with an Aston badge on it. I know what Jess drives as well. I'm, oh. I, know, I know what Jess drives. She's currently it, under the bus here. <laughs> <laughs> she's an Asbo. She is a proper Asbo. That's all we can say. She's complaining about I'm a so miles per gallon. Sure. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I yeah. think you need to leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <okay>. Whoa. <laughs> and that is a little bit different than usual of a video. Let me know, do you enjoy the F1 stuff? I certainly enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below. I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.